came out the other day to try to get the 440B skidler to start it. That time to get back in this sheep barn and get it mucked out, the stall's mucked, mucked out. And as usual, it seemed it didn't want to start. I'd um, kind of been sitting here for a couple months, at least since the beginning of spring. And uh, when I first got in it, tried to start it up, just didn't want to start. And I thought, well, maybe low in fuel, so we put some gas in there. Get it started then. And I wanted to start, but it just, the battery went dead, it seemed. And uh, so we took the battery out, charged it up overnight, went to put it back in. And... Uh, that one thing wouldn't start again. It's like the battery was dead. And I uh, went to unhook the battery, thinking, oh, it's maybe a bad battery, but we just bought the battery last year. I don't think it's about a year old yet. So I started fooling around with it. Come to find out, the issue was with that starter relay right there. It seems that positive post is something's going on with it. it kind of wiggles and it must uh, not making very good contact. Could have been the issue right from the beginning. So once I messed with it a little bit, got back in, we shot a little starter fluid in there and it started up. So now everything's tightened down and taped up and hopefully put it in there. Let's see if we can get it started. Oh, oh. What about the 440B is that uh, originally uh, Bobcats were made to clean out stalls. The first ones were small Bobcats like this one. This happens to be the smallest Bobcat they make. And they were used to clean out a turkey barn. And so this one's like, I guess, second generation. And uh, it's used for cleaning out stall barns like it was originally made for. And it's easy to maneuver around. It's under six foot and less than 36 inches wide. They can get it out of the barn doors and stall doors. And that was the reason for it. So, this one actually has been rebuilt. I could probably take it apart and put it back blindfolded by now. And um, basically what we did, we took the, which the original 16 horsepower Kohler that was in here, needed to be replaced and it was replaced with an 18 horsepower Kohler engine and rewiring and everything. It's, it's very similar to a lawnmower and basically that's what it is with hydraulics. And uh, so I guess right now we have some issues with the electrical, I have to figure out. It does get used a bit, so things like this happen. See if this thing will start. Keep your fingers crossed. I gotta stick his battery in there yet, and I might jiggle that terminal just the wrong way. We shall see. 